everyone, it's Victoria from Art in Action, and today I'm going to show you how to make a calming jar. This is a really easy and quick project that you can make with pretty much anything that you have lying around at home. All you're going to need is some sort of a bottle, and I'm just using a plastic water bottle um, that I've taken the label off of. Um, some sort of oil, I'm going to use baby oil, but you can use cooking oil. You could also use a little bit of um, liquid soap, just know that it will bubble up a little bit. If you want, you can add a little bit of food coloring. I'm gonna add a little bit of green to mine, but if you don't have that, don't worry about it. And a variety of little things that you can add to your calming jar. And you can see that I already put some glitter in here. I did that because it's a little bit messy to add glitter and I didn't wanna do that on camera. Um, but I also have here some little um, snowflake glitter that I had left over from Christmas. I'm gonna throw that in, um, a couple of buttons really fun to throw that in. Um, some little Lego pieces. Um, those are perfect. You know, we always end up with a whole bunch of these left over from Lego kits. And then I have some little, whoops, some little beads. So I'm going to add those in. And then a fun thing to do is to pick something, um, a special thing that's kind of an I spy thing. And I found this little fire truck button that I had. Um, that was just lying around, so I'm going to add that in. But you could add almost anything that's plastic um, to this. You could even, if you just cut, use cut up um, pieces of plastic from packaging and things you have lying around the house. You don't need to anything fancy. Um, kind of whatever you have around is fine. So I put some other little things in this jar. I'm going to add a few more into my common jar. And you can add as much or as little as you want. Just put a couple little buttons in there. Um, so once you have your stuff in the jar, you want to fill it up with water about three quarters of the way up. Again, it's no specific measurements. And then you're going to add a little bit of your coloring if you want to. And this is like a gel food color, so it'll take a little while to mix in. Um, you could also use some paint. You can keep it um, totally just water um, with no color, uh, whatever works. And then you're going to fill up the rest of your bottle with oil. And I find the baby oil works really well. And I'm just going to add that in again. There's no real measurement. Um, eh, I'll put it I sort of. I probably should have put a little more water in here, but I can always add that in later. And then I'm going to take my lid and put it on my bottle. Now, if you have little kids around or you're going to be using this a lot, another thing that you can do before you put the lid on the bottle is to put a little bit of, um, little bit of hot glue around the top of the bottle and then quickly put the lid on and that will glue the top on so it doesn't come off. Um, and over time, if you're going to use this a lot, your um, water will evaporate a little, but it's easy to make another one. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to shake it a little to mix that food coloring in. And you can see it's kind of mesmerizing. to see how everything floats around. And a fun little game is, which is hard to do on this camera, because everything's floating to the bottom right now because it's not quite mixed yet, is once it settles, to find that little fire truck. And then you have your little calming bottle. And if you're feeling stressed out, just shake it. Just watch things settle. And you can see that um, the oil and the water doesn't quite mix, so it makes that kind of um, bubble inside, that little funky thing. And if you happen to use soap, it'll bubble up a little bit, but that's okay. You can also swirl it around and you can get kind of a hurricane effect. It's a fun thing to do. You can mix your colors of food coloring to make your own, um, own colors. So there's sky's the limit on this. Um, you can do lots of different things on it, but it's just kind of a fun little thing to just watch and calm yourself down and, and have a de-stressed day. <laughs> 